Right then, FC Porto versus Manchester United play ratings, let's get into them. So, starting with the goalkeeper. Leave your thoughts in the comments, but starting with the goalkeeper, Onana for me, a six. I mean, the goals, I think they were poor in the first one. Should have done better, tipping it out, like, into a danger danger area where he just tapped it in. I think Martinez was slow to react there, though. But, listen, Onana, average six, he, had, he made some very good saves, distribution was good. Um, sweeped a few times like it was a decent performance by Onana. You can't really question him at this point. It was he was sound on the ball, as I said on the goals. I mean the header was straight at him, but it was a lot of power on it. And then the second Samu goal was was the header. The first one, no, sorry, the second one that went into the top corner. He's just not going to save that. The Pepe one, good reaction, but just couldn't do anything on the second part. Right back Masrawi for me a five. I think he was poor today. Um, he made a few decent clearances. I think he did get caught out a lot of times. They did target that left hand side early on in the game. Don't think he got much support from Ahmad, but he did a very, very good job. With Matuari, he doesn't go forward, but he's very, very sound defensively. Um, and he does offer that kind of out ball there for us. So, yeah, give him a five. Delay has to be a four. Delay was very, very poor today. Um, poor on the ball. Gave away possession. Did have a few good headed clearances, but in the grand scheme of the game, didn't do good. Didn't do well enough. Made a few mistakes. Did have a good header though, but if you look at the goals, probably could have done much better. If I'm honest with you, like you look at, you look at kind of Delit as a player. He didn't look quick. He looked like he was struggling pace and that kind of partnership you probably look at maybe dropping delay in the game i don't know if it happened but yeah I'm, I'm just watching the goal back now so listen the amount of crosses Porto put in was insane as well they obviously knew that was a target but i think delay could have done better he just gets beat by samu and um, for that goal and his weak defending so that's why he gets the four for me moving on to martinez i think he asked if i'm giving delay a four you got to give martinez a four Martinez was for me very very poor there was a moment where I think it was Alves I can't remember his name but Pepe sorry went past Martinez just absolutely spin braced him and it's disappointing with Martinez because he didn't look like his own self he was weak to, re weak to react or slow to react to that Pepe goal where he just got him before him as I didn't look himself in the duels his passing was off it it's sad because Martinez before that injury was probably for me one of the best defenders in the league um He's struggling to get back to full fitness. And I don't think he is quite 100% fit. Obviously, I think Eric Ten Hag needs him. He's, that, he's the only left-footed player that we have to be building up for defence. But me, Martinez, was very, very poor today. Um, not his best performance. Did, did make some good interceptions and good clearances. But for me, very, very average. Like, just an embarrassing performance by him. I think today, we, we kind of see him as a captain and one of our important players. He didn't offer anything today. Very, very disappointing by him. Left back to low. I think a five. I think he was okay. Similar to Masrari. A few good interceptions. Was sound on the ball. Put a few good crosses in. Listen, he isn't a natural left back. He's not going to... But Delo just isn't a natural left back. He put in a decent shift. Thought the right back did get him today. I think sometimes he does go in a bit too much in midfield and does get caught out defensively. But yeah, five out of ten for me. Um. Yeah, five out of ten. I would give for what um Dallo today. Going into midfield now, Casemiro for me did have some very good parts, but it was probably five. Some good parts, very bad parts. I mean, there was a few wayward passes, but obviously Eric Ten Hag trusted him to start in the game. I think it was a European game, which obviously supports kind of Casemiro's. Tempo, he had a decent game, sharp on the ball in moments, but just simply isn't good enough. I think in the game against Villa, I actually wouldn't mind starting him, but not next to Ericsson. I think with with Casemiro, he need Ugarte next to him, and obviously with Manu still potentially carrying an injury, could see that happen. But yeah, for me, a five for Casemiro. Ericsson, a five as well, was okay on the ball. Sloppy, got an assist for the Maguire goal. Um, had it. Had a great part to play in the Rashford goal, but defensive side were very weak. Did get bypassed a few times in midfield. You look at the constant crosses that Porto were putting in. I don't think the midfield did enough to kind of support the defence in defending. Um, 
yeah, so that's what I'd give Ericsson. Bruno for me, another red card. But I give him a free, a free red card. I think he, his game was much, much more simple today. I think it'd be a red card that gets rescinded. I don't think it was a red card, but we'll have to wait and see. But disappointing. I think Bruno had an overall very good game. Wasn't trying to do no silly passes. Kept it simple. Um, which was so much better from what we've seen with Bruno. Defended very, very well as well. So I would give Bruno probably yeah a four just for the fact he got a red card. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Will he miss the next games? Probably not. He will probably play against Villa as well. So we're going to need a big performance from him. Um, on the right, Ahmed, a five. I think he didn't have the greatest games as he got subbed off. Um, for Anthony, this didn't really offer, didn't really get into the game. He had a few good glimpses where he got one on one, but couldn't really create and have an impact in the game. I think he should be starting against Villa though. If Rashford's injured, you'll probably see Ahmad start. I think he offers more than Anthony, but today just wasn't the game for him. I'm up front. Well, yeah, I'd give one under seven. I think he did struggle in parts of the game, but did score a very, very good goal. I think obviously Diogo, Diogo Costa's keeping was a bit sketchy, but that did help us. Um, I think a very, very good game by Holland overall, though great to get him back into fitness. Um, and he'll have a big part to play in the game against Villa in, uh, on the weekend, I'm sure. Now on the left, Rashford, I think for me, was a six. Probably our best player in that first half. A great goal, looked very, very sharp and frightening throughout the whole game. Hopefully it's not too big of an injury, if it is an injury that he came off with. Um... I think very, very good performance by him, though. Back back with a goal, looked sharp, had a few shots. And, yeah, good performance. Now subs, gone at charge, gave him a six. Tried the whole game. Very, very good job by him. And Maguire, have to give him a seven. I mean, he scored a goal, saved single-handedly, got us a point. Did very, very well. And should be in contention to start against Villa for me after the defensive performances today. Um, Who else came on? Xerxes, six. Um, Anthony six as well, just average because you can't really rate them. Now Ten Hag for me, a six today. There was pressure on the line. I think the first twenty minutes was very very good. I think the players did lose a bit of control, conceding them amount of goals. But I think we bounced back. Ten Hag's got a lot to learn. It could be his final game during the week. I'm uh, sorry, in the week against Villa. But let's see what happens. Very very disappointed by the result though. I think we could have won the game. I should have won the game. But overall. There's a few positive to take. Can we move on? No matter the match would probably be for me. Either Garnacho or Rashford. They both played 45. Probably give it to Rashford because he massively impacted the game. I think Maguire could get man of the match with that great goal as well. But let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Player ratings. Peace.